Sports. Hey guys, doing a review on the 1996-97 Extreme Ghostbusters Proton Pack. I just got the pack new from a gentleman for $64 on eBay, and then I got the trap for $19 used, but in great condition. There's an attachment for both pieces, and it slides right on top. Excuse me. Right on top there. There's the pack or the uh, trap. You can tell it's just as big, if not slightly bigger, than the proton pack. It's actually bigger. This is the proton pack. This moves back and forth. So it does a bunch of sounds. It's not, it does not look like the one that's in the cartoon, but it's still a fun piece. It comes with these extra loading tubes here. And it has this tube here, which has the points on it that connects to the proton gun. It also has this here, which is doesn't do anything, just a little compartment. And then this button, that doesn't do anything either. So for the price of what these are going for, I'm fine with 60 bucks for the $64 for this. That's not too much. But some people are charging $300 for these. Even $170 I've seen it for. I think that's a bit much for what this does. For not even being accurate to the cartoon. Here's the proton wand. And it attaches using points. Kind of like the Matic Collector's Trap. The lights are super dim. The canisters rotate and you can change them. And then it has a button to blast out this bullet, which of course the batteries are dead. And then it has a flip up here and a switch that doesn't work. If you bought this in a single pack, not with the proton pack, uh, this does all kinds of lights and sounds and everything, but it does not at this point. It does a couple little lights and that's about it. But it's pretty big. And then when you have the whole thing together. So that's everything attached. Now this does come with a rubber hose like this. Mine did not come with one. But there's, there's two ports on the proton pack to attach it, but, so it's kind of tight on there. But there's no hole in here. So this one's attached, there's no hole in this one to attach it to anything. So you know, it's okay. It's okay for the lights and sounds, not accurate to the cartoon, it looks kind of cool, the looks are not accurate. But you know, if you can get it for a cheap price, it's definitely worth it. Um, I would say the best buy in the extreme line is this trap. So it's got the magnet with the ghosts in there. I, I prefer this trap more than I prefer the proton pack. But since I am Doc and Doc's prop shop, this thing will be modified a heck of a lot better in the next couple months with lights, sound, screen accurate, uh, sound card. And I'll completely butcher it and make it a heck of a lot better. The back has nothing on it. It's it's just a basic setup for your batteries. I mean, there's really, really nothing special about it. Anyways, guys, there's another review of the Extreme Ghostbusters Proton Pack.